Anybody go, oh no, I can't do this. <laughs> I saw a lot of people thinking, I'm trying. <laughs> and that is exactly what's required. I want you to look like whatever it is you do, and however you, it is you do it, you meant it. <laughs> so use the choreography instead of letting the choreography use you. Hi, I'm Ron Fry. I'm the artistic director of Optimus Theater and the director for Milwaukee's very first Shakespeare in the Park production, The Tempest. The director is responsible for the overall vision of the show and for seeing to it that that vision is carried out. The director supervises the creative elements of the show. It's a very collaborative process. It involves the ideas and creative input and opinions of all of the artists involved in uh, creating the piece. And then at the end, helping to distill all that creative work into the finished piece. I like directing because I get to be involved in all the different aspects. I've been able to be an actor, I've been able to be a scene designer and a lighting designer, I've worked on costumes, I've worked on a lot of different elements of the theater. I think that's my favorite part is that I get to work with all the different artists in the production. Susan Fry, who is our managing director and who's my wife also, had the idea in probably November of 2008. We had just retired from full-time work in the for-profit entertainment business and we were looking for the next thing and she thought how cool it would be if Milwaukee had Shakespeare in the park and if it was free and anybody who wanted to come see it could come see it. And so we had a meeting with a bunch of people to sort of test the idea and people were really enthusiastic about it. It's snowballed since then. Just today is keeping up with the people in the cast. Uh, we had a reading today. We were doing table work and working on the script and working on finding the meaning. And our cast is so sharp and so good and so creative. It's kind of a struggle to keep up with them sometimes. And that's an delightful challenge to have. We have a brilliant cast and my challenge, my most recent challenge was keeping up with them today. There are two answers and one is a better answer and the other is a more honest answer. The better answer is that I look out to all of the people working on the production because I have an obligation to all of those people. Everyone who's working on the play has a, an obligation to support everybody else in the production by doing their work as well as they possibly can. So I look out and I see all the people who are counting on me and it becomes impossible for me not to keep going. More honestly, every time I work on something, I want it to be exceptional and my ego will not let me stop. It won't let me quit. It forces me to keep working at something to make it as good as I possibly can because I couldn't stand the shame of something that wasn't the best thing I could produce. I think probably should do a handful of things, one of which is if you have an opportunity to read a script and then go to see the play of that script, that's the best opportunity because then you can see what the director has done to take the words on the page onto the stage. I also think it's really good to become involved in all the different aspects of production as much as possible. I think if you've worked as an actor, it makes it easier sometimes to talk to actors about their work. If you've done work as a designer, I think you're more capable of talking in an intelligent way to the designer. So read a lot of plays and see a lot of plays and try to become involved in the different aspects of production. I have, I have many hopes for Shakespeare in the Park in Milwaukee. One of the things that I really hope we do 
things. I hope we get people who have never seen Shakespeare before, and maybe some people who have never seen the theater before. Uh, that's one of our goals as a company, and it's the reason that we're making it free. It's open to anyone who wants to come and see it. And Milwaukee is an excellent theater town. There's an extraordinary amount of talent, uh, musical talent, acting talent, design talent, uh, directing talent. It's a very rich environment for creating theater. I have some advice for people coming to see the play. If they've not seen Shakespeare before, if they're new to coming to see the theater, it's different from watching television, it's different from watching movies, and in fact it's different from watching contemporary theater. And also, understand that a part of appreciating the play is appreciating the sounds of the words and the rhythms of the language and the performances. If you can come to it with a desire to see those things, that'll help. You might not understand every word that's spoken, uh, but the cast will do everything they can to make the overall meaning of what's happening clear. So you should be able to follow the story just fine and then just revel in the beauty of how Shakespeare and how these actors and these designers are telling the story. James Pickering, who's playing Prospero, when we first met with him, said he really likes Shakespeare that is simple and fierce. And those are bywords for this production. We are making it simple, we're making it fierce, we're making it sexy, we're making it quick, we're making it funny. We're finding every exciting thing that we can and bringing it to life in the fiercest, most direct, simplest way that we can. It's not a play that has a number of special effects, uh, but it is a play that has theatrical magic in it. So you'll get a chance to use your imagination to create this magical world on Prospero's Island. It's outdoors uh, on a series of platforms, and it's being performed by some of the best actors I've ever worked with or ever seen for that matter. It has a brilliant original score. The designers are some of the best in the city. It will be exceptional work. It will be imaginative work. It will require something from the audience, but when the audience gives us that, they'll get an experience that they'll really remember. I have in my mind, as we work on the play, a student who hasn't had a chance to see Shakespeare performed live before, but who gets to see this uh, because it's free and because it's here in Milwaukee. And I think about the thrill that they'll get and the fascination that they'll find, and I think about how this play can change their life. That's why I think it's important.